Hello everyone, this is Jim Delapine. I want to do this very quick demo for you with regards to some people who expressed interest in creating text inside of an oval in an arc. I'm going to start with deleting this and we're going to start fresh. Okay, so let me just delete that, go to my oval tool or elliptical tool and simply create an ellipse using this tool here. Okay, all right, so this is filled with white and has a no stroke. And so what I'll do is simply click on the default white fill black stroke, just so that you can see that in preview mode, what it looks like. So I'm going to go to view outline. I'm working in outline mode. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to copy this and place a copy of this on top of itself. So control or command C, and then if it's control or command F to paste the copy on top of itself or go to uh, edit paste in front. So Control F, okay, I'm in the Windows environment. And I'm also using CS6, but Creative Cloud will be the same. All right, so now I have a copy of on top of itself. And if I just drag this to the side, you'll see that. Okay, let me undo that move. And now what I'm going to do is scale this oval inside. So there's a duplicate that corresponds to the shape of this oval. And we're going to use that as a means of creating the text on that oval so that it corresponds or is parallel to the arc of the oval. So I'm going to click from any corner, start dragging it towards the center. As I'm dragging, I'm holding that shift to constrain the proportions. Okay, and I'm also holding down alt. So shift and alt is held down while I'm holding down my cursor and I'm scaling in towards the center. Okay, when I'm happy with my, my placement, I'm going to let go with my cursor first and then the shift and alt or option if you're in the Mac environment. Then what I'm going to do is go to the text tool and hold down my cursor and select the type on a path tool. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is simply click on that inside line, right on that oval, inside oval. And I'll type in logo here, all in caps. And that's what you'll get. All right. Now comes the part that's a little tricky, but uh, you need to go now to the direct selection tool. All right. And once you have that tool selected, you'll see a visual change occur. So what you're going to do is hold your cursor on top of these endpoints here and just click and drag and slide. And you'll notice some things happen. OK, so notice what happened. The word here disappeared. If you look over here, you'll see a little plus sign. That means that there's additional text that you cannot see. So I'm going to hold my cursor on top of that left line there and click and drag out to allow that text to be visible. OK, so you can do a few things with this. You can slide this to wherever you'd like to a certain degree. All right. Note if I, if I slide it to the left, the word disappears again. And you know that what you can do is simply click and drag this line to make the text visible again. All right. So you can also click and drag this around and drag this to the top if you'd like. But let's just say you wanted this at the bottom but you want this uh, to appear right side up. So what you're going to do is go to, now keep in mind we're in the direct selection tool, that white arrow. I'm going to hold my cursor on that middle line and notice that there's a horizontal line with a little up arrow. I'm going to hold my cursor down and click and drag towards the center. And notice that it's right side up. All right, so now it's a matter of positioning it to where you'd like and uh, taking it from there. Okay, again, if you wanted it at the top, I would just click and drag, pull this down, and then slide this around, and there you go. All right, if you find that it's in the wrong location in your oval, you wanted this not so close to the edge, you would be able to click and scale in more. Okay, notice once again, I'm holding down the Shift and the Alt key. OK, so in addition to that, you can go to your text tool, double click on the text and increase the point size. If you'd like, OK, change the font, change the color, etc., etc. Right now, the text is black, so I'm going to click on this foreground color and uh, double click on that to get access to the color picker. And I'm just going to click and drag. I'll click and drag up here and select white. Remember, we're in outline mode, so we don't see any color. Right? But we know the text is white now because that's selected. 
Now what I'll do is go to my direct selection tool and select the outside oval. And I'm going to sort my foreground and background colors. And now I have a white fill with a white, a black fill with a white stroke. I'll click that and click none to the stroke option. And now when we go to preview, we see our text. All right. So just keep in mind now, there's certain things that could happen. For example, if I select my outside box, I can um, bring that to the front and everything would disappear. So if you run across that problem, that could be the reason. So object arrange, send to back. And just remember, every time you create a shape, it will come in on top of the previous shape that's drawn. OK, so I hope that helped. And I'll, I look forward to seeing your guys work. All right. Take care. Bye.